Hey everybody, Downton654, Max here, and today I'm going to do uh, part 3 of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. If you've been following along with my past videos, you should be at the part where you have the daisy cross, the yellow centerpiece, and the four white edge pieces around it. So the next step to solve it is to get a white cross, and, that, and we're just going to do that right now. So, what you have to do, you can pick any white piece. It doesn't matter which one you start with. So, I'll just start with this one. So, first you have to find the other color that's on the other, uh, like, side of it. Because edge pieces only have two colors. So, in this case, the other color is orange. So, what you have to do is align it up with the orange. So, these these two match. And once you have that, you turn it 180 degrees, or twice, to make it easier for you guys who haven't taken math class. So then, you'll go to the next white piece. So the other color on it is red. So it's already lined up with red. Turn it 180 degrees. All right, our, our third one, it's green. And as we can see, it's already lined up with green. So if that happens, you just turn it 180 degrees. And with our last one, it's white and blue. All right, I'll line it up with blue and turn it 180 degrees. And what you'll have on the bottom is a white cross. Congratulations. Now, what you're gonna have to do is to just get a full white cross because sometimes, just let me get some, sometimes you'll have other corners in it like this. And if that happens, uh, you're going to want to move them out. So if they're like that, you're going to turn it. You're going to move it down. Move it out of the way. And then bring it back up. Because what you're going to want to have is a, just a normal white cross. Like that. So hopefully you got the white cross by the end of this video. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.